Well here it is, your generic cut 60 type, 60 amp plasma cutter. I bought it around a year ago for a job that it couldn't end up doing. I had a couple of muck arounds with it and put it away. Went to use it for a project, no arc. Started pulling it apart, found a bit of a horror show inside. Uh, it's typical, it's like all these really nice components slapped together by some unskilled peasant who's working in a factory, has no technical knowledge and is paid nothing. Um, and before I forget, I think that the most important thing when you buy anything like this, especially when you buy it from overseas, I bought this direct from um, an eBay shop in China. The most important thing you can do is just play with it for as long as you can, as soon as you get it, because most of the faults are manufacturing faults and they'll show up really quickly. If it doesn't break after the first couple of hours of use, generally it won't break for, you know, quite a long time. And that was the mistake I made with this one. I just put it away. I should have had a really good long play with it, try to learn how to use it properly and all that sort of thing. And it would have failed very quickly and I would have been able to exchange it. Now I've been backwards and forwards with these guys and in the end they wanted me to pay for the parts after promising that I'd just have to pay for shipping. So given up and um, I'll send them a link to this review. Absolutely everything inside was smothered in hot glue. It looks like it's been torn with someone's teeth rather than just cut. So they just ad hoc cut it as they're putting it together to stop anything touching the case. The back of the case was absolutely covered in hot glue. I've taken most of it off when I took that um, insulation piece out to see if I could find anything. When I looked closely, this is part of the high frequency board. This capacitor, only one pad was soldered. I've subsequently soldered it back on. Again, this was slathered in um, hot glue. A little standoff is all it mounts it. It looks like a, a filter for the high frequency board. This I'm pretty sure is the high frequency board. Sorry about the light, there's not a lot I can do this time of the day. Again, just covered in hot glue, but what I found was this was actually loose on these nylon mounts and it was touching the bottom which also has a piece of that crappy insulation on it. So I'm assuming that because this buzzes at a high frequency so it actually moves when you start it because it was loose something damaged internally something's fractured I don't know and I can't get an arc um, let me get a pointer what you have here are two carbon rods. That's the pilot arc. It starts arcing and then that, that goes on to create your arc in, on your cutting torch. Nothing's happening there. I'd ask them for a, a replacement high frequency board at a guess. They couldn't, they couldn't tell me which part was broken. They were asking me to tell them. And this is the other danger when you're buying from these um, eBay shops and you a good clue is if they're selling plasma cutters and women's laundry in the same shop, all they're doing is keeping an eye on what sells, bringing the stock in and selling it. They know absolutely nothing about it. So again, anything goes wrong, you're on your own. The other thing I found, that valve is supposed to have two captive bolts on it holding that bracket. I don't know if you can see it. One of the bolts was snapped clean off. It was still in there, but it was not doing anything. 
um, what can I say the quality control is atrocious the actual components in there don't look too bad but just the way it's put together yeah this cost me well over three hundred dollars and uh, it's scrap here's another nice little touch from uh, the manufacturing methods I'm presuming this jumper needed to be bridged so all they did was stick a hot soldering iron in there and dump a blob of solder on there to bridge the contacts it's I've never seen anything like that that's horrible so just soldered onto the back of the board we had a blob of uh, hot glue on it presumably to protect it same with that capacitor there hot glue doesn't stay it gets hard it falls off terrible there's a close-up of the mounting system for that board it's just appalling this is how loose it was when I first got it that was just and it, it's plastic screws holding these pillars on because everything on that board is live so they can't have metal screws on there this has obviously been added at some point in the past again there's the um, there's the solder blob there the um, carbon carbon rods for the uh, pilot arc and this other board has also obviously been just tacked on at some point the high frequency board was insulated just randomly torn piece of plastic a couple of holes only one of them fits beautiful Here's the back of the board there's a door to board been that's been designed to mount here so obviously there's um, provision made for the for the screws to mount it this section here you can see the plastic screws obviously they just looked around for some spot on the board where they could drill some holes and mount that door to board and uh, that's why the screws aren't symmetrical and one's on a track here and you can't you couldn't possibly use metal screws there um, apparently this is a revision or an upgrade or something summary uh, I've learned my lesson it's a case of even if you're paying extra for the exact same thing from a, a physical store or a local store at least you have come back as far as uh, warranties go um, and there's spares the possibility of spares or you know some sort of restitution if things go wrong I've been pretty lucky with um, eBay on the whole but um, yeah this one's been a complete waste of money so I hope this uh, is useful to anybody contemplating buying something like this as I said the main points are if you buy it locally even from a local eBay store, you've got way more chance of getting anything um, rectified if anything goes wrong. And the other important thing is, as soon as you get it, start using whatever it is, just use it, play with it. If there's a manufacturing fault, it'll be, more than likely it'll show up pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.